I'm Chef Robert Hess, and you're watching Never Trust a Skinny Chef, the show that shows you that go make sure you check out the chef in the back of your kitchen, because if he's a fat guy, you know the food is good, right? So I'm with my main man, John Bunsfield, and we're here at my restaurant at Paschetti's Restaurant in Clearwater. Italian market and restaurant. And if you're gonna do Italian food, you better be coming strong with the pizza, right? So I got my main man right here, John. He's gonna teach us how to flip pie, talk about pizza, what, how, where pizza came from, all these different things that make a great pie. Now, John, you've been spinning pie for what? 26, 26 years, somewhere in there? 26 years, it's like the Ted Nugent of flipping pie up in the air, son. So tell me, tell me, what makes a perfect pie? Perfect pizza? Perfect dough. You gotta have the best dough to start with. You gotta have it aged for at least two days, sit in the cooler and rise. It's gotta be able to stretch. You gotta use a great high gluten flour. Golden Tiger is really good. That's what we use here. Uh, basically, just get it fresh ready. Fresh ingredients, right? Fresh ingredients. You can make as a well. pizza out of anything. Out right? of anything. Chili hot dogs, cheddar a cheese. Chili cheese dog pizza. Come what? on, man. All right. All right. So listen, what are we gonna do here? Like, tell me about this oven. We paid, we paid like forty to fifty grand for this oven. Right? This what is, makes this oven so special? This, this oven cooks at 700 to 740 degrees. It takes about seven minutes to cook the pizza. Wow, so if you threw your face in there, you melt it off. You'll like be done. You'll right? be finished. Yeah, be finished. like a movie. Um, we use cornmeal on the bottom so the pizza to act as an insulation between the bottom of the pizza and the, and the uh, deck of the oven so that it doesn't burn. They actually act like small ball bearings between the dough. Really? And the, yes, really, between the dough and the bottom of the oven. So it's like pizza roller skates. Like, like pizza roller skates. Let's the air circulate through the oven properly. Let's the bottom get nice and golden brown. Let the top cook evenly as well. And you don't burn it. A lot of people don't know that when you're pretty cold. So at home, when you make pizza, they make these pizza stones that you can buy. Does that work essentially the same thing? It works essentially the same way. I have a pizza stone in my house. I use that in my oven. I do the same thing. I flour it before I stretch it out. I use cornmeal on my peel. I set it directly in there, and I'm always good to go at home. All right, Josh, so show me 26 years of experience. What do you gotta do first when you're flipping this dough? What you gotta do is flour it, get it nice and floured on both sides, throw it down, get yourself a crust. Now what you're doing is you're stretching and pulling and rounding stretching at the same time? Stretching and pulling and keeping it round at the same time. So when do you know how to stop? Just you're just still on years of experience. You know, it'll come to you. And then you want to give it a little crust like this. Always stay away from the middle till the end, because you don't want to have it too thin. So I see it's got like a dome coming in the middle, right? Exactly. Just kind of keep pushing out on the sides. You're going to work your way through the middle. Keep it nice and even. Give yourself a little bit more flour. Flip it over. Do the same procedure again. How many pies have you made in one day? In one, in one day? I've made up to 280 pies in one dinner sitting. Man, like show me some skill right now. Show, show the world the debut of John right here. All right, all right so look at him go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that's the money maker right there. Nice, nice. The finished product should look like that. Perfect. So how many chicks have you got here? Flipping dough like that. As the Ted Nugent of pizza, many. <laughs> so go out there, start flipping dough, and have some fun. And they'll come right to you. So you tell me, Robert, what do you want? You know, for me, if you're going to make a pizza, you might as well go right. So I want you to make a fat boy special. And what that includes is I want marinara, I want meatball, sausage, pepperoni, and don't forget the extra cheese, because if you do, I'm slapping you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, first you want to start with light sauce, because you don't want to make it too soupy unless the customer asks. Now, what's the difference if they put extra sauce on there? Will it change like how the dough uh, gets crispy or thin? You know, there's a big misconception between New York pie and Chicago pie. So you tell me, who makes the better pie? New York makes a better pie. Chicago loves a deep dish. That's a great pizza too. It's still thin. It's just full, really high, like a pie. Oh, uh, gotcha. Here, I like to stay light on the sauce because we're using a brick oven. The pizza's cooked so fast and so quick that too much stuff on it will not cook all the way. So I go with a light sauce. What kind of cheese do we use? We use a grande, East Coast blend with a Bella Rose mix. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like high of fat, high of flavor at the same time. Yes, and low in moisture, so we don't because have Because you know what? Flavor. Fat is a... What you like? Fat is flavor, right? Fat is flavor. Fat is flavor. I put fat in everything, John. We got fat from the... I put I put fat in breakfast, put fat in lunch. I put my finger in it. It's all, it's all good. Now we put some good. fat on it. There you go. All right, some cheese first. A little light layer to start with. 
Now when you when you got what's this that it's sitting on? What's this called? This is a wooden keel. This that is like, looks like something like out of a movie. Like if I was in a college movie uh, at an animal house, I was going to get my beat. Oh, you get okay. beat with that. <laughs> Basically, it's an extension of your arm. It's how you set the pizza inside the oven. It's made out of wood. So it's like the go-go gadget pizza arm. It's the go-go gadget pizza arm, as you can see. <laughs> All right, so finish up my pizza. All right. All right, so what we got? We got, we got pepperonis, right? Pepperoni. Those, are, those are different. Those are like jumbo. Yeah, right? these are the jumbo pepperoni. We slice our pepperoni every day here, fresh from the stick. This is not your average, everyday little Papa John's pizza pepperoni. We don't use that here. So if you want to come get some banging pizza, you come to Sketch's where the big boys play. That's right. Sausage, we use our mild Italian sausage here. We shred it up nice. Shred it. Shred None it. of that rabbit turd no sausage. No rabbit turd. You don't want that. Meatballs, hand break them up so they have character. And I'm gonna tell you what, man, to the side of a good Italian restaurant, I always get the meatball when I go there first because if you can't make the meatball, then you can't make Italian food. That's, That's right. it. That's it. All right, well, what do you want? Some mushrooms? 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 Some Boom! So that's looking, that's looking banging right there. That's looking tasty. So what do you go? What do we do now? Right now, you're gonna give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. Shake it, it up. Starts moving around. Make sure. And we're gonna dump this baby. Boom! See you later. And that's that. Check that out, folks. That's 750 degrees. Oh, Come on, man. get on in there. do is after about you know three or four minutes you want to check the bottom of your pizza take a look it's getting nice and golden give it a little turn always set the pizza right back in the same spot because if you don't the bottom's gonna get burnt and you don't want that so what's the difference by them setting the pizza to the left or the right closer to the closer to the flame closer to the flame you'll cook it right away you'll get some dark spots you'll get that old New York style black and crunchy pizza if you cook it to the back you get a little bit lighter pizza, not so not so black and not so crunchy. Certain people in Florida like their pizza different ways. You gotta cater to them. It's just the way it goes. So let me ask you something. Coal or brick oven, which one are you gonna do with pizza? Coal is the way to go. Coal is the way to go. Coal's New the way York to go. style, baby. New York style. Alright, let's go. Alright man, so here we go. We got this banging pizza my main man John made. Look at this thing. This thing is full of cheese, meatball. Meats, pepperoni, sausage. This thing is a heart attack waiting to happen. It just shows you with good ingredients and fresh ingredients and a hot pizza oven. No matter if you're in Florida or you're in Kansas City, you can make some banging pizza. That's right. John, I want to thank you for coming. Thank Let me you for having you me, up Robert. With a slice of that. Oh, please do. All right, look at that. Oh, look that's that. beautiful. Okay. Thank you, Robert. All right, and let's go ahead and give a little cheers to that because everybody thank likes you. a little beer and pizza. All right, you're watching. Never trust a skinny chef. We're here at Paschetti's restaurant from my kitchen to yours. Eat big and live big. And always remember, never trust a skinny chef.